After two races of the 2016 Formula 2 season, we saw two different winners. Will we have a third one after Eric Edin got pole position for the Formula 2 Grand Prix of Norway? Pierre Landin, the world champion and second on the grid, promised to Edin to make it a hard piece of work to win here in Tweedestrand. But also Matthew Perfreyman was on fire. The British pilot surely wants to gain ground right after the start to correct his 10th starting position which resulted from a DQ in qualifying. Like expected, the water was rough and the wind unpredictable when the lights went off to start the third Grand Prix of the year. Idin could stay in front of Landin and also Perfreyman with a perfect start, moving up to fourth position after the first turn. But Christian Carlsen coming from the outside in turn two, immediately ending Perfreyman's race in a dramatic way. Yellow flags were out. Perfreyman could leave the course on its own but with heavy damage on his boat. Not only was his race over, but also Perfreyman's ambition to go for the F2 title. Edin and Landin, meanwhile, were ready for the restart. The green flag came up and again Eric Edin stayed in front of Pierre Landin. For Edin it would be the first ever win in F2, but therefore he would have to stay in front of Landin for 40 laps to come. And this would be a hard piece of work indeed, because Landin was convinced to catch Edin sooner or later in the race. And it looked like Landin could be successful, chasing Edin very hard and slowly but surely closing the gap to boat number 21. Edin as well pushed his boat to the limit and somehow he didn't leave any chance for Landin to pass. So Pierre Landin had to try again and again to get himself in an overtaking position but every time Edin could stay out front by that little extra speed out of the turn. While these two were fighting for the win, Rube Temper, who qualified third, could hold this position throughout the whole race. So the Austrian finished third at the end, his first podium finish in 2016, in front of Frode Sundstahl on four and Daniel Segenmark on fifth position. The bad luck continued for championship leader Alberto Comparato. After the crash in free practice, he never found back to his pace the whole weekend. So his race ended at a disappointing 10th position. By gaining only one point, his championship lead will be gone with this race. Which makes the race for the win also a race for the championship lead, between Eric Edin still leading the race and Pierre Landin on second. Halfway through the race, Landin finally wanted to get this leading position. He could close the gap to Edin, but it just was not possible for Landin to get past the 21 boat. So when the checkered flag came out, Eric Edin won his first ever Formula 2 Grand Prix and with this he is the new world championship leader. It's been a, a pleasure to do this race. Uh, I like the course, uh, my boat fits perfect and my team have done a good job, so I have nothing to complain about. This is uh, the way I should do it. I'm going to take the pole and I'll take the race in 10 space as well. Landin finished second, which was not what he expected, but the championship is still wide open. Edin and Landin only separated by one point. I was uh, trying to push him so hard so, so he could uh, make a mistake, but uh, he didn't do that, so not, not so big anyway, so uh, no, he, he did a great job. I wanted uh, the win so bad, so, but I, I don't have the speed today, I didn't have it. With Eric Edin winning the Norwegian Grand Prix in Tweedestrand, they are now three different winners after the first three races this year. There are a lot more races to come. Next up for Formula 2 will be Tonsberg. So stay tuned. <laughs> Follow F2 on Facebook, 
YouTube and F2WorldChamp.com. Wow, 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 wow.